Greetings and salutations to you, good people of the interwebs. So, some of you may have seen a couple of weeks ago, I did an unboxing from a Kickstarter that I took part of, which was the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Kickstarter from Spiro Studios. And this is a set of three and three quarter animal warrior type fighting figures. And someone's asked me to take a look at them and the compatibility with Boss Fight Studios' Vitruvian Hacks line, because they, they share many of the same kind of design features and how we can mix and match these figures up um, to create wonderful combinations. So, first up, I mean, there's, there's, what we need to bear in mind at this sec section is that the Vitruvian Hacks line are going more for realism in especially the paint and sculpt designs and there's more of a comic book aesthetic with um, the animal warriors of the kingdom so you know they're using bolder color choices whereas and you know in design aesthetics whereas um, Vitruvian Hacks are going for more realistic tones and realistic skill, sculpts but other than that you know, they are the same size figure and they share many of the same uh, and how they're put together. So we're going to go, first of all, easy one and show uh, costume or armour or whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, they can share, they can swap bits of armour over. I've got using this um, clear orange blank from Boss Fight Studios and the Horrid Assassin. And Horrid Assassin from one of the clients, you know, the, the Spartan armor. Um, Greaves and stuff, because it's because he's got hairy arms, it's quite tight to squeeze them over. So if you did want them on, I'd say prepare to like warm them up and, and stretch them over. Uh, same goes for the Greaves on the legs. You know, it took a bit of um, squeezing to get that one over. I didn't really particularly want to stretch any of the other ones to put that on so with this guy um, you know the arm it's again because you know you've got these thicker hairier arms that's a bit looser and as are the greaves but you know that armor is on you know quite tight and the belt as well works I dare say that the actual um, peg that they have on the back to fit weapons in actually fits better on the uh, boss fight studio guys than it does on the warrior kingdom guys that i feel it, it keeps you know falling off at current current tolerance it'll probably just take a bit of um put a bit of varnish on it a bit of super glue and let it dry and, and then just to thicken that peg up and it should be fine on the um animal warrior guy so yeah they can i'll just show that again they can share um Swap clothes around if that's your, that's your thing. Hello, hello. Nice costume. Nice costume yourself. You know that that's what you want to do. Yes, do that. Um, weapons, right? They've got. Trying to clear that. You know he's got quite a, a wider grip than these monkey hands, which you know, or ape hands, which is quite shallow. You know, they've got a different design of hand there, so. Let's see, so if we get, you know, one of the blades, one of the Vitruvian Hacks guy, you know, can hold that well enough, um, but things like the, the spear, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's holding it quite well, uh, you yeah, know, it's a bit, a bit loose, I found that other figures, maybe his grips, <laughs> Your mileage may vary. See, he seems to hold the weapons quite well, whereas if we get all the old guys. Yep, that's holding that all right. So that's a bit loose, that's a bit loose, but you know, again, a bit of varnish and stuff like that, because if you wanted this guy to hold that, you'd probably need to, you know, Paint it up a bit because we you know we're talking about that, those different um, aesthetic styles that we're going for. There, there we get a blade, weapon like the sword. 
again you know it's a bit loose but you know it still holds it um, so I mean if we get our assassin again and we move in some Vitruvian hack swords so yeah because he's got a tight grip he holds that really well he's kind of kind of placed around there that might be a bit too it's a bit too thick for his fingers but you know he can he can hold it but yeah he can hold it so you know there's that option with those so accessories armor so you know depending on what bits of armor works some doesn't you know like some of the you wouldn't be able to wear that um, furry greave there He's got furry arm anyway, so, you know, what's she going to do? What's she going to do? Should we go into some more interesting areas? Um, head swaps and the like. So, we'll get our knight here. Pop. Oh, badass. Um... Horrid night as well. <laughs> night for night, all that. So, that can get on there. He drops his own weapon. It's very tight, but you know, it's there. Oh, see, it pops off just from trying to use the, trying to get it to look up. But yeah, so it's, it's a bit tight. But still, it's on. And so, the reverse of that would be, we got another different guy. See, that's a bit loose. So that's a bit loose on. Um, is they all gonna be that loose? Or is that just, just a case of by case thing? See, that's a bit better. That's a bit... <laughs> I quite like that. So, you know, if you wanted a werewolf guy, night guy, that's that's actually quite cool. I like that. That works. That works for me. Um, so we wanted to try that with the... Uh, Female though, that's very tight on, because you know the female head is small on the others, and that may possibly be the stuff of nightmares. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, let's put a red back on. And you know, uh, let's see if these we come off. Hey, we're doing a lot of decapitations here. Again, that's quite a bit loose on for the female head onto the male body, but the female heads onto male bodies are a bit loose anyway on the Vitruvian hex things. Now, we'll talk about arms, shall we? Now, the arms on these guys are actually quite tight to uh, come off. Let's just uh, use a bit of uh, science here. They're a bit tight on these guys, whereas on the Vitruvian Hacks guys, they come off. And you'll notice, I don't know how well you'll notice on my camera, but they are, that's a thicker and smaller peg than the one on the Vitruvian Hacks guy. So how that works out in practice is, where are my uh, volunteers? Okay. Just give him, put his head back on while we do this. Just give him a bit of show what we're going for. Um, so we wanted to give this guy a knightly arm. It goes in, 
but I don't know how well you can make that out. I mean, the shoulders up there and the shoulders down there. So it's, you know, it's in, it works, but it's just a little bit lower um, on the sculpt than it is for his normal shoulder. So, you know, but if that works for you, that works for you. And the other one, I love these orcs. I mean, you could give them any parts and it, because orcs are just these weird things. And that it only goes in one, there's like several detents on there and it only goes in one detent. So it's quite, uh, let me just remove this armor. You can see it's quite, there's quite a gap there where it is. So it goes in, but again, that's very low to where his normal shoulder is. So it need a bit of work to actually, you know, figure that out for you. But you know, it goes in, it goes in. Um, we're gonna try, right. So yeah, it comes off at the elbow. comes off at the elbow and again slightly different designs there yeah way around actually yeah it's struggling to uh, Get a victim. Yeah. It doesn't go in all the way again, so it's you now it's a little bit loose. But if you really wanted it for that custom that you were doing, you could make it work. Um, sticking this into that sleeve. That just that, that's just. Very loose again if you wanted it for that one custom you could varnish that up let it dry and get it in but it doesn't yeah doesn't uh, want to stick all the way again you could with the hands it goes in and over here, the hand kind of goes in. So, you know, the hands are kind of interchangeable. Oh my God, what have, what have we created here? I don't really like taking all legs apart anyway. In Kate terms of torso, that is a... Um, Completely different connection than this. I don't know if we can I just want to come out. Yeah. I don't want to pull that out. Yeah, it's a completely different connection. I mean you can just the just the design of it is um so, doing a full on body swap, you're going to need to actually that out. I don't really want to because it's really tight in and it's got a different different style of barbell than that. If you notice, um, this guy, that's all one piece, whereas on your... The Truvian hack figures... It's two different pieces there. So that's kind of what makes it, you know, completely incompatible on that level. Um, do the legs come off easy enough? Right, okay. Okay. Whereas the retrieving hack legs, 
to me they don't that'll need uh, I don't like doing on the Vitruvian hex to get that off the leg so whereas you can do on these guys I wouldn't really do it on my Vitruvian hex so yeah um, in terms of compatibility the head swaps and the armor and the weapons are the easiest you can get some mileage with the arms and stuff but you'd need to you know actually do an extra bit of work on them to actually convert that now my table is surrounded with um, just bodies bodies and bodies skull faced baboon men on that note yeah I hope you've gleaned some information for that and I hope that was useful for you um, it's a bit of work but you know things can be done and that's what we'll just do that little video for you uh, join me next week or whenever we'll do another random video like this uh, we might do make some random content and things a regular thing when people request to see different things um, until then remember to like comment subscribe or do the opposite it's up to you freedom of choice and all that life freedom is the right of all sentient beings as a great robot once said but be excellent to each other party on dudes because you deserve it let's fist bump shall we fisto fisto